Number 25, the beard second. Often used to measure really small distances, such as those in integrated circuits, the beard second is not surprisingly described as the length that an average beard grows in one second, about 10 nanometers. Number 24, Mickey. Used to describe the speed and direction that a computer mouse is moved, mouse sensitivity can be measured in Mickeys per inch. Number 23, Sheppy. A measure of distance equal to about 7 eighths of a mile. It's defined as the closest distance at which sheep remain picturesque. Number 22, Smoot. A unit of length defined as the height of Oliver R. Smoot, the president of the International Organization for Standardization. It was created exclusively to measure the length of the Harvard Bridge. Number 21, Barn, Outhouse, and Shed. Used by nuclear physicists to measure extremely small distances, the barn derives its name from the expression, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, which is often used by these physicists to describe the difficulty of causing particle collisions. The outhouse and shed are even smaller. Number 20, donkey power. It's one third of horsepower. Number 19, a freedman. This refers to a span of time measuring six months into the future and was coined by columnist Tom Friedman in reference to Iraq's future. Number 18, Kardashian, a unit of time representing 72 days of marriage. It was coined in response to Kim Kardashian's marriage to Chris Humphreys. Number 17, microcentury. Supposedly, mathematician John von Neumann used the term to denote the maximum length of a lecture. One microcentury is 52 minutes and 35.69 seconds. Number 16, Richter scale. A proposed system based on the Richter scale that measures the amount of media coverage of an event. Number 15, the Dirac. A unit for measuring information flow, physicist Paul Dirac was known among his colleagues for his precise yet taciturn nature. They defined a Dirac as one word per hour. Number 14, Helen. Helen of Troy was known as the face that launched a thousand ships. Therefore, one millihelen is the amount of beauty required to launch one ship. Number 13, Lynette. Used to measure how bogus a person is, especially in the field of quantum bogo dynamics. According to its proponents, however, it's seldom used as it is far too large for normal conversation. The micro Lynette is more useful. Number 12. Megafonzie. A measure of an object's coolness invented by Professor Farnsworth in the TV show Futurama. One Fonzie is the amount of coolness inherent in the Happy Days character, Fonzie. Number 11. A puppy. The proposed SI unit of happiness, one puppy is the quantity of happiness that a one kilogram beagle puppy whose body temperature is 310 kelvins produces when held in skin contact for one second. Number 10, powder. A measurement of obstruction, it's named after Commander Powder, a British naval officer from World War II who had a very difficult disposition. Number 9, Warhol. Derived from Andy Warhol's famous statement, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes, it represents 15 minutes of fame. Number 8, Canard. The proposed SI unit to measure quackery, it ranks from 0 to 10 and measures the number of times quack words such as energy and holistic are used to promote dubious health claims. Number 7, the Wheaton. Used to measure a number of Twitter followers relative to celebrity Will Wheaton. It was coined when Will reached half a million followers. Typically, the Millie Winton is more useful. It's 500 followers. Number six, the Bloit. In the Zork series of games, one Bloit is the distance that the king's favorite pet can run in one hour. Number five, Gillette. When American physicist Ted Maiman invented the laser, he measured its strength by the number of Gillette razors it could burn through. Number four, the Nibble. When it comes to computers, you know what a byte is. One nibble is half of that. Number three, the Microsoft Minute. A unit of time defined by how long Windows tells you it will take to copy some files. This has nothing to do with how long it actually takes to copy the files. Number two, Millie Einstein. One Millie Einstein is a thousandth of the brain power of Einstein. It was inspired by the Millie Helen. And number one, a monkey minute. It's famously said that a very large number of monkeys typing randomly at a keyboard for eternity will produce the complete works of Shakespeare or some other literary canon. It follows then that for works of lesser magnitude, a smaller number of monkeys or shorter duration will suffice. Thus, one monkey minute is a measure of literary quality. 
If you liked the video you just saw, then consider clicking on the button at the top right to subscribe. Also, check out our other popular videos, 25 Unbelievably Hard to Believe Facts, and 25 Things That Will Happen in the Next 60 Seconds. If you're still itching for more, go ahead and check out our website at list25.com for a whole bunch of cool lists.